first thousand days of a child's life are among their most important. Baby Guan is no different. Because his mother had good nutrition and health care during her pregnancy, she delivered a healthy baby. It's important that mothers breastfeed their babies as soon as they can after they give birth. After the first six months of feeding only breast milk, mothers should introduce other healthy food. Parents should ensure their children are vaccinated for common childhood diseases that are preventable so that children stay healthy. Because of this healthy start, these children will grow and develop physically and mentally. Their bodies will be strong enough to fight off disease. They will grow and help their family and communities thrive. And in turn, they will have healthy children of their own. And so the life cycle of good nutrition goes on. But tragically, many millions of children in the world don't have the healthy start that these children have had. Every year, 20 million babies around the world are born under ideal weight. 170 million children are chronically malnourished and will not develop to their full physical, intellectual and social potential. Worldwide, 500 million women suffer from anemia, due mainly to insufficient iron in their diet. Anemic women find it harder to take care of themselves or their children. They find it difficult to work and will face greater dangers in pregnancy. They are also more likely to give birth to babies who are underweight. Ironically, and often in the same countries and communities where malnutrition lurks, 1.5 billion adults and 43 million children under five years are overweight. Obesity brings with it a higher risk of diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and cancer in later life. Science and experience have shown us that we can work together to take positive action to improve the nutrition of adults, teenagers and children, especially in the first thousand days of life. How do policymakers know what to do? How do governments, development agencies, decide their investment in which programs? How do communities accept programs? How do community health workers know about whether their work is having an impact on the life of people? Elena can help all that. In August 2011, the World Health Organization launched a new groundbreaking online resource to enable decision makers, planners and community workers to better answer these questions. The Electronic Library of Evidence on Nutrition Actions, known as ELENA, provides evidence and case studies showing which nutrition interventions work best at each stage of life. Linked to the global database of implementation on nutrition actions, ELENA provides good advice, solid evidence, compelling case studies, successes and failures. ELENA ensures that informed decisions can be made. Solutions exist. The problem is that decision makers don't always know about them or know how effective they are. By promoting proven effective nutrition actions, ELENA changes all that. One example of a proven effective action is the weekly iron and folic acid supplementation program that has been running since 2005 in the northern mountainous regions of Yen Bai in Vietnam. Designed to combat high levels of anemia that result in smaller babies and lower levels of productivity, the program provides weekly iron folic acid supplements through a network of community health workers with the support of the Vietnamese government. As promoters for the project, we ourselves started taking these tablets and mobilized our friends and colleagues to do the same according to the schedule. And since then, the health workers have been providing us with these tablets on a regular basis. Elena also provides solid evidence for the importance of early initiation of breastfeeding, of exclusive breastfeeding until the age of six months, 
and for continued breastfeeding until at least two years of a child's life. Several countries have shown how successful this can be. In the Philippines, the first Embrace campaign changed hospital practices so that more women had early skin-to-skin -skin contact with their babies, were kept close to their babies and encouraged to begin early breastfeeding. In Cambodia, more women are exclusively breastfeeding as a result of media campaigns, personal counselling and baby-friendly hospitals. We have a vast amount of critical information on the ELENA website and we are continuously updating. But ELENA is also a living organism and we're relying on the information that program managers, field workers can contribute to the ELENA so that it also portrays a concrete experience of how the programs are delivered on the ground. And that information will be used to improve the life cycle of nutrition for millions of people. Making the right choices and having the right nutrition programs and policies in place can save millions of lives, women, children. Elena can help making the right choices.